A lot of Hoosiers are looking to change jobs in 2022. Are you one of them? Whether you're looking for a better job in your current career or hoping to switch fields altogether, one thing's for sure, you're going to need a polished professional resume. And joining me this morning with six smart tips from local career experts, Leslie Bailey. Leslie, good morning to you. Good morning. All right, you're the founder and CEO of Indie Maven. Let's talk about these six different types of tips you have. You spoke to six different women for advice on making your resume stand out from all the others. How do you do that? Yeah, there's some great tips here. So we'll start with Jalen Fisher, who's the CEO of a company called GoalFit. And I love this idea. She recommends a key project bullet point under your professional experience. We tend to do a lot of like responsibilities and action things, but she's suggesting mention a specific project or an accomplishment or a goal. Um, and I think that does a little bit more storytelling um, on your resume, which is a great tip. Um, next up is Peggy, H Peggy Hogan. She's the vice president of talent services at Purple Inc. HR. And she, I love this one too. She actually re recommends adding an additional sheet to your resume that has quotes from like former bosses or influencers with whom you've worked. Or if you have room, you can add it right there on your resume. What did a recruitment market, marketing consultant Amber Cleveland have to say? She suggests just start with a fresh eyes and put yourself in the recruiter's shoes. Mm. So a lot of times we try and pack everything into our resumes, but she's saying, look at it and see, let's just include the positions that are actually relevant to the role that you're applying for. Cause she says, you know, I only have a couple minutes to consider each one. So you need right. to just get straight to the point. And, and speaking of the couple of minutes, that's why it's important to have the appropriate words. Yes. So Kristen Lampkin, who is of HR Guru, says use action verbs like improved or collaborated, for example. So they're eye catching and it's going to capture your recruiter's attention. And what should you do before you actually send in your resume? So Libby Wilkin, DNI talent strategy partner, says you need to understand the role that you're applying for, which sounds kind of obvious, but sometimes we just don't take the time. You know, we're just trying to crank them out. Right. So she's saying make sure it reflects what the position is actually asking for. It is so important. Pay close attention, <laughs> definitely. And finally, a career coach had a pretty impactful idea on how to include your career story. That, this is important, too. Yeah, Jacqueline Martinez, so she is from Off the Record HR, uh, and we talked about that storytelling earlier. So she says examples like framing your career transitions, right? Because we have them. So let's be honest about them and write them in and explain what happened during that time. Also supplying the reader with where your previous job was located, what types of products, what services did they do? And then also writing it like you're talking directly to the person reading it, right? Because they want you want to keep them interested and engaged and we kind of do that business speak. It kind of keeps things dry. So get that personality worked into it. Yeah, you have to remember that the person who is doing the hiring is looking at a lot of resumes, so you definitely want yours to stand out. These tips have been great, Leslie. We really do appreciate it. Sure. And My for, pleasure. Yeah, take care. And for a closer look at these smart tips, you can head to our website, fox59.com slash inspired living.